Hello all, welcome to the new video of signals and systems. In this video, we will see the question uh, related to analog electronics which had appeared in gate EC 2013 paper. Okay, so the question is three capacitors C1, C2, and C3 whose values are 10 microfarad, 5 microfarad, and 2 microfarad respectively have break, breakdown voltages of 10 volts, 5 volts and 2 volts respectively. Okay. So, for the interconnection shown below, that is this circuit, we need to find out the maximum safe voltage in volts that can be applied across the whole combination and the corresponding total charge in micro coulombs across the terminal. So, we need to find out that amongst these four options. So, in order to solve, let's quickly note down the values of C1, C2 and C3. So, we have C1 is equal to 10 microfarad and C2 is equal to 5 microfarad and C3 is 2 microfarad. So, let's calculate the effective capacitance. So, let it be C effective. So, as we know C effective is First C2 is in series with C3, so effective of C2 and C3 will be C2 C3 upon C2 plus C3. Okay, this whole is in parallel with C1. So we will get 10 upon 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 10. So we will find out this. Ten by seven plus ten. So this is eleven point four two eight five microfarad. Okay. This is the C effective. So we have got this value. So what they have asked is, what is the maximum safe voltage V? that can be applied across the combination and the corresponding total charge. So, we know that for a capacitance, the charge is equal to capacitance into voltage across the capacitance. That is, the charge stored in this capacitor will be, say C2 will be, Q2 will be equal to C2 into voltage across this capacitor C2. So, for the whole combination, say Q effective, uh, so, so that will be Q effective will be C effective into maximum voltage across the combination. So keeping this formula in mind, we will find out amongst these options, see uh, the first term is voltage. And second term is Q. So, this is the maximum so say, voltage in volts that can be applied across the combination. It means <coughs> they have given V combination. And the corresponding total charge also they have given. Now, we need to find out which among these four options is true. So, if we divide Q by V, we will get C effective. So, Whichever uh, option matches the C effective will be the right answer. Okay, so using this formula, uh, we can get C is equal to Q by V. So for first option, the capacitance will be 36 upon 2.8. So C effective will be 12.85, which is not matching with the effective capacitance. So, option A is wrong. This is not right. Okay. So, the next will be 119 upon 7. This is 17. C effective is 17 microfarad. This is also wrong. Now, the third option is 32 upon 2.8. Eleven point four two eight five, which is matching with the C effective. So 
you may go with this option okay but it is safe to check the last option also whether it is right or wrong sometimes what happens there may be cases where both of this will be right so this is uh, one question where we get same answer because i have already solved this problem so i already know that so 80 by 7 is also 11.4285 so now we are left with two options that is c and d so we have eliminated two options based on the simple fact that the ratio of total charge across these capacitors to the voltage which is applied across the combination should give us the effective capacitance of this combination so the ratio of q by v for option a and b then match with the c effective uh, that is the effective capacitance of this combinations hence we have eliminated option a and b now we are left with option c and d so the ratio of uh, q by v for both c and d will give us the same answer as this c effective will be uh, give us the same effective capacitance but both of these options cannot be right because uh, one of this combination will destroy the capacitance because it may exceed the breakdown voltage so we need to find out which among this c and d uh, voltages will destroy the capacitance and eliminate that option so the maximum voltage that involves that can be applied across the combination just uh, give importance to this line what they are referring is if we apply the voltage say this combination this is the voltage okay this is v this is v so let's see the option d first okay if we apply 7 volt to this combination c3 so the ratio of c2 and c3 is 5 is to 2 c2 is to c3 is 5 is to 2 so the voltage across capacitor c2 will be 2 by 7 into 7 which is 2 volts okay so this 7 volt will get divided in in this way 2 volts here and 5 volts here so but the maximum I mean the break one breakdown voltage of c2 is 5 volts so this 2 volts across c2 will not destroy this however this 5 volt will destroy c3 because the maximum breakdown voltage for c3 is 2 volt means if the voltage across c3 exceeds 2 volts it will get destroyed so this option d is wrong so the right option is c because what they have asked is we need to find out the maximum safe voltage Okay, just we need to find out the maximum safe voltage. So if we apply 2.8, the voltage will get divided among C2 and C3. But however, that voltage which C2 and C3 will have will be much less than the breakdown voltage. Okay, so this is the right answer. So just don't go by uh, the Q by V. Also check the voltage term here so since uh, 7 volt is not safe it will uh, it is not safe voltage hence option d is wrong 2.8 is the maximum safe voltage which can be applied across the combination so that is the right answer so if you have any doubts please use the comment section i hope uh, you are uh, clear about uh, how the questions appear in gate examination so it is simple first you need to eliminate options and then use some common sense so to solve this problem all we needed was the simple formula called as q is equal to cv which is the charge voltage equation for the capacitor okay so thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe and also keep visiting our website and uh, if you want any particular video lecture you can use the comment section we uh, will be doing that lecture uh, in the coming days okay thanks a lot